One of the best parts of college football is that anything can happen every year. Whether it's a team or a player, we truly never know what we're gonna see. It's been a while since I've done this series, but I've gotten numerous comments asking if we'll be bringing it back. So, with the season just two months away, I felt that this was the perfect time to read some hot takes for the upcoming college football season. Before we get to today's video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you're watching this video, odds are that you love college football, and odds are you aren't subscribed to my channel. So, make sure to subscribe to one of the best college football communities here on YouTube. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. The hot takes I'll be reading today are going to be from Reddit. With so many hot takes from Reddit, there are likely going to be multiple videos in this series. Don't worry though, because there's a way you guys can still get involved. Drop a comment down below with your hot take or hot takes for the 2022 college football season. I'll be making separate videos where I read hot takes from the comments on this video. So if there's a hot take you'd like the world to know about and get me to read in a video, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, we'll kick off these hot takes with a pretty interesting one. Nebraska will be the worst 15-0 team ever by winning all of their games by seven points or less. This is a pretty creative one. I mean, what was the thing with Nebraska last year where essentially every game they lost? I don't know if it was by seven points or less. I want to say it was by single digits or less, but I think majority of them were within like five to seven or so points. So they're flipping the script this season. They're going to go undefeated, but uh, they're barely going to win all of their games. They're going to have like a point differential of maybe like plus 20 or something like that. So I do think Nebraska is going to be a much improved team in 2022. Will they go 15 and 0? I'm not exactly certain. But as uh, this person with the cheese at Bull Flair in their uh, username says, if they do uh, win the national championship, they're going to be the worst 15 and 0 team ever. So if that's the case, if Nebraska somehow goes 15 and 0, I can get behind this. I do think they'll be the worst uh, 15 and 0 team in college football history. All right, we got a lengthy one here from uh, Mr. Danny Ocean. Stetson Bennett is a fringe Heisman contender this year, or at least he could be. Hear me out. He was already number three in total yards per play and yards per passing attempt last year. He's incredibly efficient. If his stats this year are slightly better than last year, we're looking at a guy throwing for 30 plus touchdowns and 3,000 plus yards on the best efficiency in the country, along with 400 yards of rushing and a couple cool rushing touchdowns. And he could be playing for a team that's top five the whole season, televised every game, and with a great narrative to vote for. Look, I'm aware it's not the most likely, but you asked for a hot take, so Stetson the mailman, Heisman contender. Yeah, this is certainly out there. This is certainly the hot take. Now, I will give Mr. Danny Ocean some credit. They presented us with a hot take, but they were able to provide lots of research, lots of information to back it up, and I don't think it's an outlandish claim. Now, I do not think in any way Stetson Bennett's going to win the Heisman Trophy. I don't think that's going to happen whatsoever, but I got to give this guy major props for, like I said, providing all the stats, providing all the information that backs up this hot take claim. I mean, I think he's going to put up fine numbers this season, but I don't think they're going to be good enough to win the Heisman Trophy. Georgia's likely going to finish the season undefeated or with one loss, which definitely definitely will help his case, but yeah, I just don't think his numbers are going to be that good. I mean, there's a chance that he doesn't even have better numbers than he did last season. But again, I got to give major props to completely backing up this hot take. Cam Ward is going to throw for 7,000 yards and win the Heisman Trophy. Well, if Cam Ward is going to throw for 7,000 yards, I certainly hope he's going to be in the Heisman discussion. I think there's a chance that Cam Ward can throw for 7,000 yards and he won't be in the Heisman discussion whatsoever. I mean, we saw this season Bailey Zappi break the passing yards and passing touchdowns record and he wasn't anywhere near the Heisman discussion. Granted, maybe that's because he was on a group of five team that wasn't necessarily a fantastic team, but just by putting up insane stats, I don't think it necessarily means anything unless your team is in a really good position in the college football playoff hunt. But I do think Cameron Ward is going to have a really good season this year with Washington State. For those of you that don't know, Cameron Ward transferred over from Internet Ward and he was essentially the best quarterback at the FCS level. I mean, go look up his numbers because they were truly insane. So, I don't know if he's in the Heisman conversation, but I think it's a possibility he throws for 4,000 plus yards with 40 plus touchdowns this season for the Cougars. Alright, we have a few hot takes here. We got uh, Arkansas winning the SEC West. Alright, that's uh, pretty scorching. Kentucky winning the SEC East. Um, okay, not too bad. The playoff is going to feature Ohio State, Arkansas, Baylor, and Utah. 
All right, I'm going to start with the first one in regards to Arkansas winning the SEC West. I know a lot of people are really high on the Razorbacks this year. I think they're going to be a solid team, but I don't think they're going to be a team that can win their own division. So I'm going to let that one be a scorching hot take. Kentucky wins the SEC East. This one I think has a chance of happening. I think Kentucky is going to be a really good team this year. I think Will Levis is going to be a potential Heisman candidate. So this one I think potentially can actually happen. The playoff is going to be Ohio State, Arkansas, Baylor, and Utah. Ohio State, they're going to be in the playoff. That's an easy one. I've talked about Utah being a dark horse for the playoff, so I could see that happening as well. Baylor, we saw them come so close last season. They won the Big 12, so I wouldn't be shocked if they win the Big 12 yet again, and they potentially can be a playoff sleeper as well. And again, with Arkansas, like I said, I think they're going to be good this season. I don't think they're necessarily going to win the SEC West, but hey, stranger things have happened. I know these four teams reaching the college football playoff seem really crazy, but I don't think it's as crazy as we actually think. I think two of these teams can easily make the playoff. Potentially three of these teams reach in the playoff. All right, we have an ACC team that makes the playoffs, and it's not Clemson. Again, I don't think this is necessarily that hot of a take. If you guys have watched my recent videos over the last few weeks, you know that I'm very, very, maybe way too high on NC State, not only winning the ACC, but potentially being a playoff dark horse. So if it's not going to be Clemson, I really do think it's going to be NC State. But with that being said, the ACC has a number of teams who could potentially make a sneaky push this season. We got Wake Forest, Pittsburgh, who were really good teams last year, who I think are going to be really good teams once again this year. So yeah, I think an ACC team makes the playoff. And if I were to bet, I think it's going to be a team other than Clemson. The winner of Keaton Slovis versus JT Daniels in week one becomes an early Heisman frontrunner. Well, this is going to be a fun game in week one because it's the battle of former USC quarterbacks. I think this is going to be a really good matchup. I think that both Keaton Slovis and JT Daniels could potentially be Heisman candidates as the season goes on. I don't know about early Heisman frontrunner, but I definitely think whoever wins this game, if they're able to put up some really good numbers, I think they're going to be in that conversation of maybe like five to six names early on in the season. Indiana makes it back to bowl season, man. We are really coming out with these scorching hot takes. I mean, a couple years ago, Indiana had, I think, the greatest season in the history of the program, and last year was an absolute disaster. I think they only won two games, maybe three games. Uh, it was really bad for the Hoosiers. I don't think Indiana makes it back to a bowl game this season, but I definitely think they're going to be a lot better than they were last year. But then again, that's not that hard to do based on just how much of a disaster last season was. Well, that wraps it up for part one of this series. Remember, if you have a hot take for the 2022 college football season, let me hear it in the comment section down below and it'll be featured in a future video. Before you leave, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you love college football, then this is definitely the place for you. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.